Uh, hello, welcome to another SCP Containment Breach video. I'm actually thinking about opening up my uh, upload schedule to have three videos a week. Uh, you can let me know in the comments down below if this is the kind of content you'd like to see out of that third video. Uh, I may not do it, I'm still thinking about it. This is a, sort of an easy bit of content to make. You just play a game you enjoy, record it, talk about some stuff while you're doing it, and hopefully it's entertaining. If I don't find it personally to be entertaining enough, uh, we will probably <laughs> figure something else out. And I may not uh, actually expand my schedule if that's the case. Because part of that is simply that I want to have uh, as much good content for you as possible. Uh, this is fun. This is a little open podcasty sort of content if I can focus on what I want to talk about and not on the game itself, which can be difficult because this game requires a lot of your attention. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the, a little bit, because I have a, a script I'm working on right now for a object class explained for SCP Containment Breach, which yes, SCP Containment Breach has a story all of its own. We're going to talk a little bit about it today whilst I play it. So let's get started. And here we go. So you know, the thing about SCP Containment Breach that has always bothered me a little bit. Oh, oh, it's because I upped the gamma. I'm like, that looks different. I upped the gamma a little bit because I couldn't fucking see anything. We don't. God damn it. Um, the thing about SCP Containment Breach's story, and yes, there is a story for all you naysayers out there, uh, is that by and large, most of the story is in service to the gameplay. So when you go through particularly samey bits of the game, uh, that is explained away by modular design theory. It's a labyrinth because the person who was in charge of designing this place was a chaos insurgency agent who wanted it to be a labyrinth. That's actually more complicated than that, but... Yeah, I gotcha. Just fucking go. Oh, it's very bright with the... Oof. I turned the gamma up a little bit because I was having some trouble with... I mean, I know that's part of the thing, but when you can't see what you're doing and you can't see what I'm doing, it kind of ruins a little bit of the gameplay experience. It's not up. <laughs> yeah, he's been working with you for like five months, motherfucker. Yeah. Just get in there and follow all the instructions and uh, you'll probably be fine. Well, that sounds... You won't be. Either way, I don't really care. Oh, and by the way... Come on, come on, there we go. Ugh. Yeah, everything's washed out in this particular gamma level. It's not up that high, we can look at the options. Hold on. Well, I guess I did up it up. It was supposed to be about halfway. The default value is here. Mm, wonder if I should. I, I'm gonna up it. It's a little too high. I want it to be reasonable at yeah, reasonable at these levels. So it's a little bright, but it should be bright. If it's reasonable at these levels, then when it gets super dark, everything will be alright. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So. The Chaos Insurgency in this universe, and I say this universe because this is not mainline SCP canon, is either a lot more powerful or just a lot more aggressive. Wait. Wait for it. I'm gonna wait till this actually gets done. I don't like this either. Uh, the door's open. Let, let's get out of here. Oh god. What the fuck is this thing? All right. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, the <laughs> I'm gonna talk. So if I get distracted, I will I will stop thinking about what I'm talking about, and I will just keep playing. Uh, so I want to get this out of the way. 
in this universe, the Chaos Insurgency is way, way more powerful, or at least way, way more aggressive. And uh, they really want to destroy the SCP Foundation. And the reason why all these objects are at the same place is simply because the, uh, the actual other sites have been attacked. And those sites are either they've been found out or they're just under so constant of attack that they moved a lot of the Euclid and Keter class objects to more secretive sites that were still unknown. Problem is, this one was not completely unknown, and it's not named, I believe. Uh, I don't know which site this is, but the Chaos Insurgency knows about it too. And Dr. Maynard, and I believe a guy called Agent Skinner, yes, Agent Skinner, which I believe is almost seems like an, F, an X Files reference. Um, Agent Skinner and those guys, those guys, we'll just call them those guys for now, Dr. Maynard and Agent Skinner, uh, have basically orchestrated this containment breach. Earlier in the day, Skinner got 106 out, the old man, and while that breach was ongoing, Maynard went down to the computer, the sentient AI computer, and hooked him into the main computer for the place, which is hooked into the doors, which, by the way, terrible design. Alright, but yeah, when I talk about the story for this game, it is important to remember... Oh, look, what's, what's that behind you? Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, okay. Did you see that? Yeah, that was a thing. All right, I think we're fine, probably. I don't see him down here anywhere. Oh, that's not a good sound. It's all right. Got. Attention. So the storyline in this game is essentially they've gotten all these SCPs out. They've let the, what's it call it, in charge of the doors. And in doing so, they have created a containment breach for, I guess, the Chaos Insurgency to come in and do shit. It's not really super clear, which is fine, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, it's right here at the beginning. What level key card do I need for this? It's just going to tell me that I need a key card. Yeah. I have to put a key card in for it to tell me what level. Alright, well that door goes downstairs. But I'm not going downstairs until I get some batteries. I've got, I've got extra information because I have played through this before. But a lot of the damage you see in the floor, like you'd be like, how did this happen already? 106 has been running rampant throughout the site all day. He has recently been recontained. And... Uh, that was just prior to the fucking computer taking over control of the door system, which is why sometimes these doors will open or close on their own. Alright, well there's some stuff I can get out of this door. Can't get in there to the SCP, but I can get that. This right here, I believe, talks about the modular design. Yeah. That's about the modular design theory, which was Dr. Maynard's pet project. Dr. Maynard being the guy that basically kills everyone who, <laughs> everyone who works here. Dead, dead, dead. All right. Is that an elevator? No, but it's a... don't forget, today is pizza day. And that's 079 doing his thing. Let's go ahead and go in here anyway. Oh, I can't go in here because I don't have the key card required. I've played through this enough times to know. I absolutely cannot go into that door. It would be a waste of my time and it would be a waste of your time. I guess what I'm saying is that, uh, and I think I've complained about this in the past. Alright, there's going to be a battery in here. Yeah. 
Well, that's something. At least I can repower my night vision goggles. Uh, kind of should go downstairs at this point. This is the endless doorway, which we did last time. You can go through here. There's a cup, plastic cup. And hit that button. Come through here again. Yep, recursive spatial phenomenon. Actually, let's just do this while I'm talking. Why not? Oh, hey, there's a key card. I don't think I saw that the first time. I am the cure. Ah, Aaron Bulgan's dulcet tones. So this whole... this will actually change the more you go through it, so we'll make a few iterations. Actually, let's take this. I've got a level one key card, which is at least something. <laughs> We're gonna put the empty cup on the ground here. I think I can walk past it, right? Without it, yeah. All right. Let's see if it changes at all. Yeah, I accidentally picked something up there, but it'll be fine. Endlessly iterative hallway. Nothing special so far. Yeah, so anyway. I've always said my biggest problem with this game is that... The story... well, beyond the bugs, because this game crashes like fucking crazy. Beyond the bugs has always been that the story doesn't serve the player as much as it serves the gameplay. You have to have an excuse for things. I feel like this does something. I I remember, I think it was a Markiplier. Well, I got me. I think it was a Markiplier Let's Play, but I, I recall this doing something. Okay, that blood was not there originally, so yes, it does do something. So you gotta have an excuse for modular design, which is the, uh, there we go, something different. Yeah. And if we go back, we'll see. Oh, he's there now. Whispers. Something's happening. See, this is con- and then, you know what I find about this is that this is content you could easily miss. This is the mark of this kind of thing that makes me like this game. Why? It's not as bad as a lot of people on the site want to make it out to be. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Things is getting weird now. You might see that body and be like, well, I guess that's the end of it. But it isn't the end of it. Not by a long goddamn shot. Is my heart beating faster? What's going on here? I think... I might be dead already. Um, yeah, this is one of the features of the thing that makes me really like this game. Yep. Universe is starting to fall apart. See? This is more stuff that you would not see unless you keep going through this fucking door right here. And I know people are like, um... Especially people on the uh, main site, authors especially, will give a lot of denigration to this game, but it has a lot of merit to it. 
If for nothing else, it gives you a chance to get fully immersed in an SCP universe. And I do say a SCP universe, it's not the SCP universe. There is no canon, after all. We're not done, though. I believe there's more. Boosh. Remember, I tried to do this last time and I didn't actually have the patience for it. See, I think the thing with a lot of on-site people, authors and etc., has been that... God damn. There are a lot of kids who play this game and then find the SCP Foundation. And maybe they believe that the game came first and that the SCP Foundation came second. And people take offense to that. Reasonably so. And they see these people and they, who come in and they make, you know, a 173 clone or they make an old man clone or they use terms like Radical Larry, which they picked up from Markiplier on YouTube. And they kind of get pigeonholed into being a particular kind of person, which I don't think is fair. Not fair at all. There we go. That's a thing that happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on-site people who complain about this game, take a look at that shit. But, uh, yeah, and, and I say this is an... Uh, um, I think it's fair to call myself a major author on the wiki. I've got almost 80 articles up now. Um, I get the point, you know? People come in, they're annoying, and they're associated with the game, so you associate the annoyance with the game. I think this may be the last... I don't think it iterates more. But I could be wrong. We're gonna keep talking until I'm done saying what I gotta say. So I get it. You associate the annoying people with the game, and then therefore the game itself becomes annoying, and you find reasons to dislike it. But, that doesn't mean that the game itself is bad. I really don't think it is. It's got problems, and it definitely isn't a perfect game, but it's one of the best SCP games out there. I know it's not saying much. There's not a lot. There's a lot, but there's not a lot. What's, what's the best way to put that? There are a lot of planned SCP games. There are not very many that are, you know, completed, that ever made it to 1.0, and this is one of them. God damn those whispers. And I think, yeah, that disappeared. There was a cup on the floor. It's gone now. I think people don't give the game a fair shake, to be honest with you. I'd love to see better story elements for it, though. Like, maybe the Chaos Insurgency has a particular... What's the word I'm looking for here? The Chaos Insurgency would have a particular motivation that makes sense. Besides, I want to destroy the Foundation because the Foundation is the Foundation. Like, it's so blasé and plain. I think we're done here. I really do. Alright, we're not. Enough. Fucking whispers everywhere. Yeah. We're in. I think that hallway is the only thing that gets endlessly iterated. I don't think it changes anything else in the game. Which, I should note, is a flaw. Actually having this game... Creating new, because this is already under quote-unquote modular design theory. Did we go through here already? Oh no, that's a broken elevator. 
So wouldn't it be interesting if you could reset the layout by going through the endlessly iterative hallway a certain number of times? be an interesting gameplay element. And it would be an instance of gameplay uh, following story, right? But instead, you're st oh, I fucking hate this. I can't remember if I've activated the old man yet on this character or not. I don't think so. He would have found me already. I am not going in there. Thank you very much. There's no reason to. Motherfuckers. Oh, god damn it. I don't think I can get it here with a level one key card. Wait, where am I? Well, shit. I lost my level one key card. It turned into a note that says black, white, 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 black, white. Is there any gray in there? Yeah. No, I mean, not really. A little circular thing. God damn it, that was my key card. I needed that. I couldn't have changed one of the documents. Ugh. God damn it. Can't even figure out what key card level I need now. Oh well. I have. What? There's no blood in here. It's fine. Piece of shit. Oh god. Now the old man is activated. Which means I gotta worry about running away from his ass. Oh god. Now that's gonna be in the corner of my eye the entire time. Pick up the radio, pick up the documentation. What the hell is this stuff? Isn't there a key card in here somewhere? No? I could have sworn there was a key card in here. Well, now out of the corner of my eye, every time I take a look somewhere, I'm gonna find the. Mm -hmm. I thought there was more useful shit in here. I'm not putting. What's this say? Because uh, I gotta worry about SCP. The old man now. Been through here, apparently. Been through here, apparently. Neither of these are valid options. God damn it, this shit. <sighs> I want my key card back, you stupid motherfuckers. I hear you. No, I've been that way. I've been this way, too, but... Ugh, I get lost pretty easily when it comes down to it. <sighs> Before I go downstairs, I need to get the old man to activate and then deactivate. Fuck you and your trap, motherfucker. Yeah, that's useless. You go through the center of that, you will fall through that floor. Oh, we spent some time in the endlessly iterative hallway. I think this is a pretty good gamma level. I could see, but I don't have, like, perfect vision of everything. Oh my god. Make sure that this elevator's broken. Maybe it's not. No, fuck you. Now we got the floating body. Hey, buddy. Fucking, I could have used that key card too. That's annoying. Alright, well, that whole endeavor went nowhere. So, you've got a game here, which, like I've said bef numerous times before, with story bent to the gameplay, which is a given. The game was created first. And the sto idea of a story being put on top of it was kind of an afterthought. Or at least, not, if not an afterthought, definitely not a primary thought. God damn you people. Oh, 
of this magnitude. I like that line. Okay, you're just going through here and then there's a random radio message because... Well, fuck you. The entrance zone? God damn it, I'm all the way back at the beginning. Did I go this way that first time? Don't know. Looks like we're gonna find out. Endlessly iterated. Oh, yep. Alright, well there's a good thing and a bad thing here. There's really only one way through. <clears throat> and we're gonna go down this elevator in the next episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to it so that you can... <laughs> I better pause the game. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's because <laughs> I was like, why did everything go black? Uh, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to that so you can be informed when new content comes out. And uh, if you want to get an immediate message, you can always follow me on Twitter as well, at DSumerian. And if you'd like to support this kind of content so that there's more of it, you can uh, support me at Patreon at patreon.com forward slash DSumerian. There'll be links to all of this in the description below. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, stay tuned for an episode I think I'm going to do on Thursday where I do an object class explained on SCP Containment Breach and its story.